last look at it before it is completely transformed. Today, I have three main updates I have made to this Apollo RFZ build. Check it out. First, I wanna mention, and most importantly, I have a gear reduction motor on here now. This is the QS120 60H V3. I would say this is probably a little bit less power than the Soshin puts out, but with the gear reduction, I'm getting great torque and I'm really enjoying that. The other upgrade I did, which is kind of hard to see, but I installed a Far Driver 72680. So I'm able to push a little more power through this little motor. The other upgrade I did, a slightly larger rear sprocket. I was testing this new motor with a 41 tooth. This is a 48 tooth, and I think it is pretty much perfect. So yeah, quite, quite excited about it. And I'm excited to show you a little bit of footage of how it's performing. <laughs> So yesterday, I was able to hit 50 miles per hour, and that was with the 41 tooth sprocket on the rear. Today I have the 48 tooth. I have a feeling it's still going to get up to about the same speed, um, because it's just going to use extra RPMs to get there, and I think it's going to have enough RPM, RPM range to do it. All right, so I gotta say, I am thrilled with this. It's really liking this 48 tooth sprocket on the back. Yesterday, it would, the motor was getting hot pretty quickly. Um, today, I just did a speed run and ran it pretty hard and I'm only at 46 Celsius. Um, so yeah, the motor's really liking this gearing and I'm liking it too because I actually gained top speed and gained acceleration by going with the 48 tooth sprocket in the rear. So the gear reduction in the front is approximately 2.3 to 1. I think it's 2.3 to 1 reduction. And then we're running a 14 tooth to a 48 tooth. That's approximately another 3 to 1 reduction. So I think, I think this is up to like, I think it's up to around 8 to 1 reduction. I will check that later. But yeah, I'm very, very happy with this. Um, with running the gear reduction motor, the main thing you'll notice is you're running a lot less uh, speed as far as the chain speed because the gear reduction is happening inside the motor to start. So you're getting less than half the speed on this sprocket than you would if, if I was still running the Soshin, which is a non-gear reduced motor. So splitting these speeds in less than half is major beneficial on just noise and sprocket and chain wear. I was noticing my 10-2 sprocket I had on the Soshin was getting worn out very quickly. So that is a huge, huge benefit. In conclusion, I think this build has turned out very well. I don't see any need to make any future changes with it. And the only thing left I think I'll wanna do is paint some of the unpainted parts that have been welded to the frame. Besides that, thanks for watching.